Have you ever wondered if what's on your plate could be your secret weapon against heart attacks and clogged arteries? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. Every day, our hearts and arteries wage a silent battle against the risks of blockages and diseases. But fear not. Today, we're diving into the delicious world of foods that are not just mouth-watering, but are also mighty warriors in keeping your heart beating strong and your arteries clean as a whistle. The arteries in your body are like roads. They carry oxygen and nutrients to all parts of your body. Keeping these roads in good shape is very important to your health as a whole. Imagine if these roads got backed up. You definitely don't want that to happen. There are a lot of people who have clogged arteries because of a disease called arteriosclerosis. Plaques, which are made up of fat, start to build up in the airways at this point. Not only does this slow down your blood flow, it can also cause heart disease, heart attacks, and even strokes. Over half of all deaths in the West are caused by arteriosclerosis, which is also a major cause of strokes and Alzheimer's disease. How then can you keep your arteries healthy? Okay, here are some foods you can eat. Number one, a fatty fish. Explore the world of fatty fish like mackerel, salmon, sardines, and anchovies. Omega-3 fats, which are found in large amounts in these fish, are great at reducing inflammation and keeping your arteries healthy. Omega-3s also raise good cholesterol, lower bad fats in the blood, and lower the risk of blood clots. Plus, eating fish twice a week can keep the arteries in your neck, called the carotid arteries, from getting hard and clogged with plaque. Number two, flax seeds. Even though flax seeds are small, they are very good for you. Some of the best plant-based omega-3s, fiber, and vitamins are found in them. Flax seeds can help people who are overweight and at risk of diabetes control their blood sugar and insulin levels if they eat them on a regular basis. They might even be able to stop atherosclerosis in its tracks. Don't forget to grind them up and keep them in the fridge to get the most out of them. Number three, berry fruits. Not only do berries taste good, but they're also good for your heart. Berries like blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are full of polyphenols, which are chemicals like quercetin and anthocyanins. These chemicals are great at lowering inflammation and protecting your cells from damage. Berries can help lower your blood sugar, cholesterol, and blood pressure, which will keep your vessels healthy and clear. They are also lower in sugar than most fruits, which makes them a great choice for a snack. Number four, avocados. In nature, avocados are like superheroes that clean your arteries. They have a lot of monosaturated fats, MUFAs, that help keep your cholesterol and blood sugar levels in check. Also, they are a great source of fiber. Half an avocado has about 6.5 grams. In fact, having an avocado every day has been shown to lower bad LDL cholesterol. Don't worry about the saturated fat either. Doctors tell us that the type of LDL cholesterol that might go up is the big healthy kind. Also, cutting back on heavy fats hasn't been shown to help the heart in a big way. Number five, legumes. Why not choose sides made of legumes, like beans, peas, chickpeas, and lentils, instead of grains? They are great sources of fiber, especially soluble fiber, which helps lower LDL cholesterol and keep atherosclerosis at bay. LDL can be lowered by a lot with just one helping of beans a day. Also, legumes are great for lowering inflammation and blood pressure, which are two bad things that can lead to atherosclerosis. Legumes are good for people with diabetes because they have a low glucose index. But Dr. Brewer says that people who are at risk of diabetes should keep an eye on their blood sugar levels, especially after eating beans. To keep blood sugar from rising too much, it's smart to eat beans with fats or proteins. Number six, tomatoes. Tomatoes, especially tomato sauce and cooked tomatoes, can be used for more than just putting on top of pasta. Tomatoes are red because they have a lot of lycopene, a plant substance that raises good HDL cholesterol. People who eat a lot of tomatoes are less likely to get heart disease. And having a lot of lycopene in your blood is linked to a lower risk of stroke. Here's a pro tip. Add a little olive oil to your tomato sauce or cooked tomatoes. Why? 
it makes your body take in more lycopene. Number 7. Greens with crucifers. These veggies are like superheroes in the vegetable world. As if broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, rocket and cabbage were superheroes fighting to protect your arteries. These vegetables are full of organosulfur compounds, which are very important for protecting you from dying from atherosclerosis. These vegetables are more than just healthy, they save lives. These crunchy greens have been shown to make the walls of your carotid arteries thinner and healthier. This is great news for fighting atherosclerosis. Plus, they have a lot of fiber, which lowers cholesterol and keeps blood sugar stable. When you fill up your plate next, think about adding some of these green troops. Number eight, walnuts. Walnuts are a great snack. They're also very good for your heart. These nuts help lower the chance of heart diseases, like coronary heart disease, where plaque builds up and stops blood flow to the heart. They are also full of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. Walnuts are the best source of omega-3s that come from plants. Adding walnuts to an animal study's high-fat diet stopped the formation of arterial plaques by an amazing 55%. If you want a snack that tastes good and is good for your heart, grab a bunch of walnuts. Not only do they taste good, they might even save your life. Number nine, red beets. There are different views on how earthy beets taste, but everyone agrees they are good for your arteries. Red, golden, and rainbow-colored beets and beetroot juice are two of the best foods to get nitrates from. In your arteries, these nitrates change into nitric oxide, which relaxes and widens your blood vessels like magic. This lowers your blood pressure and makes it less likely that you will damage your artery walls by preventing them from getting narrow and clogged with plaque. Don't like their raw taste? To soften the taste, roast them with a little olive oil. You can also sneak them into a shake for a healthy twist. Beets do more than just add color to your food. They protect the health of your arteries. Number 10, chocolate, dark. In an ideal world, enjoying dark chocolate would be good for your heart. Yes, it's true. Polyphenol substances, especially cocoa flavonoids, which are found in large amounts in dark chocolate, are great for your heart. These chemicals are great at lowering blood pressure, making blood move better by making more nitric oxide, reducing swelling and stopping blood clots. There's more though. Flavonoids in cocoa can even get your body's stem cells to fix and grow new blood vessels. This is very important for undoing damage to blood vessels that can cause heart disease. When picking out chocolate, look for kinds that have 70% cocoa or more, and preferably little to no sugar. You could also make a smoothie with chocolate powder that hasn't been sweetened. Why not add some peanuts too? While you enjoy this heart-healthy treat, they'll keep your blood sugar in check. Number 11, spices. Spices do more than just make food taste better. They are also very good for your heart and vessels. Take cinnamon as an example. It's not just a tasty thing to have in your kitchen. It's a heart hero. Researchers have found that cinnamon may help people with type 2 diabetes lower their HbA1c levels and blood pressure. This may help fight the effects of insulin resistance that lead to atherosclerosis. A chemical in cinnamon called cinnamon aldehyde is known to stop blood from clotting, which lowers the risk of getting atherosclerosis. It has even been shown to stop atherosclerosis from developing in animals that already have high cholesterol. Ginger, turmeric and garlic are some other spice superstars. Each has its own benefits for fighting different cholesterol risk factors. Remember that adding a pinch of these spices to your food will not only make it taste better, it will also be better for your heart. Number 12, green tea. Green tea is not only a relaxing drink, but it also keeps your arteries healthy. One meta-analysis found that drinking one cup of green tea a day lowers your risk of dying from heart disease by 
Vascular cell adhesion molecules are a big part of clogged arteries. And another study found that drinking green tea lowers them too. The secret to this tea's power comes from its polyphenol compounds, specifically catechins, which are powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. Making a green tea every day, or more, isn't just a relaxing habit. It's also an easy way to keep your arteries clear and healthy. Please drink up. So that's all we have time for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.